Hi everybody, this is Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com and I'm here today to share with you the big box of birthdays. And I am really excited about this project because I have been struggling with a really good way to to save my birth date, my birthdays and birth dates and addresses of people that I would like to send cards and gifts to for their birthdays, and I think I've finally found a solution. I wanted to have a system where everybody is just in one place. And so I came up with the big box of birthdays. Um, I am, <laughs> can you tell? I'm so excited actually. I'm really excited because I finally am gonna have all of the birthdays in one place right here on my desk. And it will be so easy for me to figure out whose birthday is up next and if I've sent a card to somebody. Um, and I'll be able to look ahead really, really easily. So here's what's going on. I have made this box. You will need two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock in order to make it. I decorated it all around and I used some fun DSP and made a cute little tag. And um, I'll show you what that's all about in just a second. So what I've done is I've made 12 tabbed dividers, um, one for each month. I used one of these little paper clips from the June 2017 paper pumpkin uh, once in a melon kit. I love those little paper, these little paper clips and or clothes line pins, whatever they are. It's just perfect because I can right now just flip straight to July where we are. Um, here are a couple of June birthdays that I've managed to, to do. Um, drop those down and I can go, oh, I've already put it on the side. My sister-in-law has a birthday, so I pulled out her birthday card and I put it on the side. So that's my system, basically. If there's a birthday coming up and I haven't and I haven't addressed it yet, I haven't made a card yet, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna put it on the side of my box with a little paper clip. Um, and if I make a card early for somebody, I can fit the card into the box. So here's my friend Carolyn. So here's Carolyn's card in November, and let's say I've already made her a birthday card then I can slide it right back here and when it's time for her birthday it's just easy to send it right away. Um, in the back I've stored some extra cards that I will fill out for other people when the time comes and um, that's it. I'm just excited about it because for me this is going to be a good system. I'm just never going to do a spreadsheet on the computer or if I do I'll never update it and I will never um, go back and look at it. So I need it in my hands, on my desk, right in front of me all the time. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case this system might work for you too. In order to make this box, you will need to start with a piece of paper that is nine and a half by 11 inches. With the 11 inch width at the top, you will need to score once at the five inch mark. Then you're going to rotate your paper one time counterclockwise so that the nine and a half inch length is at the top. When you've done that, you're gonna score once at the half inch mark, the four and a half inch mark, and at the five inch mark, you are only going to score until you hit that five inch score line that you made from the uh, 11 inch side. So just to reiterate, this is not going to continue through that whole 11 inch length. It's only going to go until you hit that score line. All right, lucky for us, I've already gone ahead and done this. I've cut it out and you're going to need two of these. Decide which um, side is going to be the front and which side is going to be the back. And what's important to know about this is that you're doubling up on the base. So one piece of your cardstock is going to sit on top of the second piece. And this is um, to stabilize the base. Next, you're gonna put adhesive on both of these flaps that are on the sides. I'm gonna just flip it over to do that. Now 
Um, so when you do this, you want to really make sure that you're lining these up perfectly so that you won't see any funky seams from the front of your box. decided to use DSP to decorate my box and I've already put my pieces together. The pieces for the front and back of the box, this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. Um, the DSP size is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. The black mat behind them is four and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. For these smaller pieces that fit on the side, they are three and three quarters by four and three quarters and the black mat behind them is three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Let's go ahead and stick these on to our project. And I've also made just a fun little embellishment that says who's having a birthday because after all this is a birthday box to help me remember who is having a birthday. So I am going to stick that I think right there. There we go. Go like that. Now to do this little embellishment I used the shimmery white paper and I did a quick wash with Old Olive then I stamped on it using Archival Basic Black, Basic Black, and these two little gifts were fussy cut out of the DSP and stuck on with glue dots. There's a little bit of black metallic thread, and these are from the banner framelits, and I, <clears throat> it's old olive layered on top of a second black banner just so that I could get a little more dimension and shadow to it and the old olive uh, banner is sponged in old olive and then the whole thing was splattered with old olive ink just to give it a little bit of extra. Okay the next bit of this project was to add some dividers so that I could separate the birthdays, the birthdays that I needed to remember by the months of the year. So I went ahead and I made some um, some tabbed folders and these are basic black and the size is four and three quarters by five and three quarters and they fit perfectly into my box. So in order to make the tabs I used this uh, tab punch and you punch one out, stamp on one circle and fold it in half and adhere it to your tab. This label or alphabet stamp set is the set that I used um, to, to stamp my numbers and it worked perfectly. It's so um, I do have a little tip. If you notice, all of my tabs are lined up perfectly. There, that one's just sticking. They really are lined up perfectly. See how they're all in a row? I have a tip for you about how to do that. All right, so I'm a bit picky when I do things like this, and so what I did was I got my card, I got a blank card, didn't have the tab on it yet, and I got a couple of tabs, and I just measured out where I would want them to fall if I were going to do, um, if I were going to do my files, my file cards in groups of four and um, I just marked on the paper where I would want them to be and then every time I did the next one I just lined it up and I made sure that I was adhering it in the correct place. So that was an easy trick to get them all lined up. You see they all fit into that little little format. Okay, the next thing I had to do was 
create some birthday cards. Okay, the next thing I needed to do to complete this project was to make the cards that actually had people's birthdays, um, their names, the, their birth dates, and their addresses on them. So what I did was I just used some standard 3x5 cards that I found in my son's desk. And I will tell you, before I even show you what I did, these are not high quality paper. And I, you know, I want to tell you that ahead of time because the colors from my ink didn't come out the same way that they do when I stamp on Stampin' Up's cardstock. They, um, they're a little more muted and you can just tell that this isn't high quality paper because it's, it's just from my local drugstore, <laughs> my office supply store or something. So, um, this is basically what I used. I didn't cut these out myself. It was just something from the local store, but I still had fun with it. Um, I used washi tape and this is for my nephew Quinn. I didn't put everybody's personal information on these because I don't need to blast that all over the internet, but this is my nephew Quinn and he just had a birthday in June and he likes dinosaurs and I've stamped with him before and he loved stamping with this set so that reminded me of him and I wanted to personalize his card like that. This is my own son and I decided to use this stamp to personalize his whale hello there because he's a really funny guy and he loves puns. Um, this is for my brother. He loves to sail. This is for my sister-in-law. She loves sea creatures everything in the ocean she just loves and i thought this would be a fun one to remind me of her this is my friend carolyn from canada and she's just a ray of sunshine and these are just some extra cards that are blank that i wanted to just fancy up a little bit so that when i do do finish this project which i will do this week i already have a bunch of cards ready and i just um i used a couple of the different washi tapes that we that are current in our catalog right now and I just put some down the side just to make my job easier and to make the cards fun and that is it for today I hope you liked my project let me just put it all together for you and let you see what it looks like one last time these will go in there these will go into their proper little files and the files go into the box and you'll know whose birthday is, is when. You'll never forget a birthday again if the plan goes the way that it's supposed to. All right, I hope you liked my project today. This is Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com, and I'm signing off. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.